What is up, gentlemen? Welcome back. So, A Dara has released a new um, HPG SX um, 8000 PCIe Express 3.0 M.2 drive. It's a gaming SSD drive. First of all, I just want to say thanks, fuck, for having this beautiful backplate or heatsink or whatever you want to call it on a SSD drive. You look at the Samsung, um, the, the Samsung fucking M.2, there's a normal pro, no, normal one, the green PCB, come on, like, ridiculous, like, you know what I mean? So, basically, it's, it uses the um, M.2 factor, loaded with 3D, uh, 3D MLC, NAND, Flash, and, and an SMI 2022-60 uh, controller. Uh, the SX meets the N NWME 1.2 1, uh, 1 specs and connects the routing to motherboard uh, uh, via the PCIe Express 3.0 times 4. So that's PCIe 3, 3, uh, 3 times 4 to deliver 2.4 gigabytes read and 1 gigabyte write with 100k and 140k loops. The latency uh, it's um, in the latency and big bandwidth of PCIe enables reading on uh, up to 2.4 gigahertz per second and 1 gigabyte write. So that reckons four times uh, read and write performance of the average SATA 6 gigabyte SSD drive. Uh, the random 4K figures uh, are around 10, uh, 100K read and 140K write. Um, it's of, of course more than SATA based drives. Um, so they reckon that it features the full uh, N N NVMe uh, compatibility, powering large performance boost, which means users notice uh, users can see noticeable gains in real world scenarios, especially loading times within games that require heavily asset streaming and a professional application such as graphics and audio rendering. I reckon that if you're spending, uh, I'd say. Three thousand, four thousand dollar gaming PC. You need to have one of these. And I, my computer costed me around four grand now, and I don't have any one of these. But the reason is I have the Intel PCIe four hundred gigabyte SSD drive. But um, I was gonna go and buy a Samsung Pro, but I might be waiting for actually for this because I personally, the performance is probably maybe a bit better than Samsung Pro. And this looks way better. I really wonder what the price is going to be. They haven't said nothing, but it's a five-year warranty, so um, we'll see how that goes. But I reckon the price of this will be two hundred fifty dollars to, I believe, three hundred something mark. Maybe even four hundred. Really depends. Depends on what you get. Really, they reckon they'd be f one terabyte, five hundred twelve gigabyte. 256 gig and 128 gigabyte. I reckon 128 gig will be maybe around 150 dollar mark, and that, that's going to be perfect for just for the Windows itself. You know what I mean? But we'll see. Anyway, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, uh, share, subscribe for more. Thank you.